Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy TG bringing you guys a brand new YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit a TikTok on Sony Vegas. All right, so let's go ahead and get on over into Vegas. All right, guys, now that we're in Sony Vegas, it's pretty simple. Anytime you open up Vegas, any version is going to pop up something like this where you have your standard uh, preview screen, all of that. So pretty simple. Go up here to file. You're going to click a new and then once you get into the new project settings pretty simple all you're going to be changing is the width and the height and make sure you have everything else copied as i do already have it so pretty simple you're going to be changing the height to 1080 and the width all right guys now that we're over here on vegas pretty simple it's gonna load up like this on any pretty much version uh and it's pretty simple go up to file hit new and then it's gonna pop up something like this where you're working on the project settings pretty simple change the width to 1080 bro Alright guys, now that we're over here on Vegas, pretty simple, you go up to file, hit new, and then it's going to bring up a pop-up like this that has all of your settings. So you're going to change your width to 1080, and your height to 1920. Then copy everything else as I have it already, and then just hit template, type in whatever you want to name this TikTok template. Mine is pretty simple, I just literally have it named TikTok, and then hit save template. And then anytime you come in here, if it's not already in this aspect ratio to work on a TikTok, all you have to do is hit new and then come down, click on TikTok and then hit OK. And then it brings you to this where now you're working on the TikTok aspect ratio. So pretty simple from here. All right. Now that we have our. All we're going to do is bring it down here into our timeline and then make sure you hit no. Because you otherwise it'll take the project settings back to whatever the clip is so once we have our clip let's go ahead and right click on it go to properties and disable resample that has to do with uh, rendering later on and making sure that the quality of the clip is to its fullest potential so once we've done that let's go ahead and right click on it again copy it and then we're going to right click on a timeline and insert a video track and then paste the clip that we just copied and make sure it's lined up. Now we don't need two audio sources so let's go ahead and remove this track. Pretty simple. So now we're just going to mute the top one because we're not going to be using that right now. Uh, we're going to start on the first one that's down below which is our main clip that we're going to be trying to get the size of. Now all you do from here is you click on this two little, it looks like a crop, uh, it's the pan and crop tool. And in here you want to make sure nothing on this left side is clicked other than the arrow and the gear, the properties. And then so what you're going to be doing here is pretty much doing the same thing you do with your project settings, changing the width to 1080 and changing the height to 1920. Then uh, you're going to come down to source and if it's closed just click the plus open it up and then maintain aspect ratio click no on the drop down and now we can stretch our clip to the full size of the project just by simply bringing one of the corner arrows and bringing it up like this to where there's no black bar showing on the top bottom or the sides now for me i don't like having my face cam showing a little bit of clip uh so i'm gonna drag that in and now now I have it like this to where the clip is pretty much centered still but if you want perfectly centered and your face cam is not going to be in the way all you have to do is double left click anywhere inside of this box and that's a perfect center of the clip but like I said for me I don't like having that little bit of face cam on the side so now this clip is ready to go and if that's all you want there you go you have the clip it'll pop up it'll play through just how you want it to now for me i like having my face cam at the top to show my reaction from you know the clip itself so we're going to unmute this and now i have my other clip that we copied earlier we're just going to go into the pan and crop event uh and pretty simple here we're going to click on mask down here underneath a position click it and then it should bring up a tool that allows you to make a mask 
Now for me, I want to just simply mask the face cam. So we're just gonna bring this over the face cam. And then now all that you see from that clip over here in the project uh, window on the right is my face cam. So now we're just gonna hit position. I'm just gonna simply scroll out and just make sure that my face cam is the full size of to the full width of the project and then we're just gonna bring it all the way up just like so and now if it starts to cut off like that that's not a big deal just leave it right there and then you can close out of this and then to get it all the way to the top if that's what you want or all the way to the bottom because it would do the same thing if we went the other way if you're just gonna come over here and track the motion just full screen this up a little bit and then just click on this box and either go up with your arrow keys on your keyboard or you can go down all the way and have it at the bottom if that's what you would prefer for me I like having it up at the top that way it's not in the way of the clip and there we go that is how you edit a TikTok on Sony Vegas now for rendering it out um, very simple all you're gonna do is make sure that you have your full render loop region uh, checked, which is the full clip and then we're gonna hit file render as now all you're gonna want to do is get a basic you know whatever internet 4k HD whatever you want click on one and then just customize your template and then all you're going to do is Actually, I have one made already here for TikTok. Customize it and then just copy all of these settings down. But once again, pretty much the only thing that you're really changing in this is the frame size. You want 1080 by 1920 because you want the width to be smaller than the height. So you can just copy all these down and this is what you got. This is how you render it and then just hit OK. And now you have that you can favorite it and then it's always there just like with the project settings to get into it you can always render it you do need to render it out in this for it to work though and then just simply click wherever you want to render it out to and then just name it and for me this was a nice double kill uh, team white clutch that I got playing warzone with my boy uh, so yeah that's what I'm gonna name it is clutch team white And then just hit render and then after you know however much time it is it will render out the clip and that's how you edit a TikTok in Sony Vegas and like I said earlier in the in the video it works for pretty much any Sony Vegas I've seen it work for 17 16 14 so it works for a lot of these if you guys have any questions concerns comments anything leave it down in the description or leave it down in the comments or message me on one of my socials that's in the description and I'll try to get back with you guys and help you guys in any way if you guys do need that. But that's how you edit a TikTok and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, drop a like and share this with your friends. That way you guys never have to worry about knowing how to do something again. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.